For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and I'm joined by Nibi Tevasina here in the Samsung booth at Mobile World Congress. We just spoke to Magnus and learned a lot about some of the work Samsung's doing around 5G. Nibi, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about some of the demonstrations that are being showcased today. Very good. Matter of fact, we had a press release just uh, this morning with Verizon. We did some very exciting work with Verizon and 5G side. This was in Baskin Rich campus. This was actually at the Verizon headquarters. And what we did is something very unique. Um, we use a technology which has never ever been utilized before, uh, and that is 5G in millimeter waves. So this is specifically has to do with 28 gigahertz, uh, which is a spectrum which up until this point, people said that it's not feasible for any type of real-time communications in terms of mobile communications. What we did over there is not only a fixed wireless, but also mobile wireless communications. We did outdoor testing, we did outdoor to indoor testing, line of sight testing, non-line of sight testing. And as part of that, we use Verizon's uh, Fios, plus uh, using Samsung's uh, very innovative antenna technologies to go realize multi-gigabits per second. Now the question is, what do you do with it, right? There's so many gigabits, what do you do with it? So, so as, part of, as part of this whole demonstration, what we showed is that, okay, live streaming of 360 VR. And we knew, uh, based on the past uh, uh, applications that we have done, is that it, it requires a lot of uh, data. And so this is one way of, excellent way of sh uh, demonstrating that how perhaps our customers can utilize this huge bandwidth. Plus, we also demonstrated 4K uh, ultra high definition um, from our base stations into a moving vehicle. And this was moving around on the campus and we were able to stream and, and we were able to show to our customers how smooth the video can be. So bottom line is what this means is that this technology is real um, and clearly uh, is much closer than we, anyone envisioned that we can go put a technology like 5G in millimeter wave. So as 5G moves from the lab and from the testing phase to ultimate commercialization, and then we see these widespread availability of advanced services right. like you mentioned, what are some of the advantages that Samsung has in addressing this market? Right. So Magnus talked about our Samsung ecosystem, right? We, we make everything from all the way from core network, from base stations to the devices and ecosystem, right? Clearly that's one of our advantages. Now the question is, is in terms of technology, um, what is Sam what a Samsung has done, right? So one of the stigmas with millimeter wave is the fact that, okay, it's a short range, uh, it doesn't go through the walls, and it needs line of sight. And we said, no, absolutely not. If that's the case, then there's no way we can go realize 5G technologies in, in, a, in, a, in a manner, in a fashion that we would like to go uh, employ out there. So, so we went and started putting R&D dollars into 5G for over two, two years, two plus years. And as part of that, what we did is very similar to how MIMO was enabled for 4G. We looked hard and deep into how we can take the antenna technology, the massive antenna technology, along with beam formation, and see can we take this beam, focus it towards the target, and can we go get the necessary range to go realize cellular type of communications that we are used to seeing in a sub six gigahertz range. Can we do this with millimeter wave? And that's where Samsung innovations come in. And clearly with Verizon demonstration, I think we were able to show that, okay, this is something real and we can go make it happen. It's very exciting to see all these next generation solutions and I appreciate you sharing Samsung's involvement with them. Thank you very much.